story, the Dao Ban, the main character, and uh, she is a very typical Myanmar woman. Uh, she she is very independent. She is educated. She earns her own living. But in some cases, that like in the story, when she's she needs to go go out for a long trip or like um like working with a man especially, then she needs to ask for her parents' permission. Uh, I think this is a very typical like a Myanmar woman. So in, in the society in Myanmar, the women women they enjoy uh, like um, quite a high state status. I mean, they have freedom in like in many rights. They have many rights like legal rights and economic rights. So there are many uh, famous women in Myanmar. For example, Dong San Suu Kyi is the is the most well known. And there are many other women who works and exceed in other sectors such as media, in uh, arts, in, uh, know, in business, and filmmaking, like a lot of them. Uh, but still, gender inequality can be seen in many parts of the society, mainly because, because Myanmar, was, and Myanmar is a Buddhist country, so bound by Buddhist tradition. Because in Buddhism, um, sometimes people think that men are superior than women because only men can become a Buddha. But uh, yeah, I, I don't really believe that. <laughs> but uh, it, it can be seen because of the tradition. It's in many parts of like in temples, women cannot enter certain parts like the innermost part of the temple, or they cannot touch the Buddha statue, for example. And also, this one is most obvious in like in government jobs. So in higher ranking government offices, you don't see many women. Like I mean the basic of course there are a lot of women civil servants but when when it, for ministers we have very little number of female ministers. Um, and also um, yeah. Yeah. So and also like just, just now I mentioned about the freedom of women and then about the education. They are mainly enjoyed by the urban women. So in urban cities, uh, women seems to be more equal as men. But in many rural areas, they are very vulnerable to, uh, to things such as violence and human trafficking. And because they, they have like uh, less opportunity to get access to uh, to education or to vocational training to learn other skills uh, to earn a living. That's why they are all vulnerable. And this is uh, another thing about Myanmar women that we need to help them to uplift them. Thank you.